Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Capricorn. So if you're a Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Capricorn, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid, words can get reversed, so take how it resonates. So, in this reading, there are no contact, no communication with this person. If there's a separation that has happened here, then this reading is going to be for you. We are going to do an energy check-in on this person. So the page of swords, yeah, the page of swords is at the bottom of the deck. Four of Swords. So two, two, two. Bottom of the deck is Three of Swords here. You could have been dealing with someone who really lacked any sort of direction here. A lot of delays in this connection as well, instability, um, conflict between the both of you. And this person is right now reflecting upon all that has happened here between the both of you here. Uh, so anything that was like, whatever delays there was, whatever negative energy was there in this connection here, or whatever immaturity on this person's part, was there in this connection. This person is reflecting upon all of that right now. If you were dealing with someone who was, again, uh, an immature kind of person you were dealing with, they just wouldn't make a choice. They just don't know where they're going. That kind of a person, what they want to choose, what, what they're looking for. If that is the kind of person you were dealing with, someone who didn't have that long-term view or wasn't up for long-term investment, if that's the kind of person you were dealing with, then with the page of wands in reverse, that's a good energy. Page of wands in reverse is someone who's actually, especially the four of swords and the page of wands in reverse, this is someone who's actually trying to grow up. Also, we have the four of cups at the bottom of the deck. So we have um, four of cups here. So we have four, four, four. Four of swords, four of wands, four of cups here. This person is grieving the loss of this connection. This very well could be your energy as well. I'm just uh, checking the energy and of this connection right now. So it's very possible this is your energy as well. Like you are feeling very, very hot. For some of you, you are feeling that hurtful energy. You have felt heartbroken. You have felt a lot of pain here. And again, uh, it, it was like this connection was very disappointing. But here's the thing, with the two of wands and the three of swords here, you're letting go of all of that disappointment and you are deciding to move forward. You're deciding to make progress in your life, plan your future, make better choices in life. It's almost like you, you are uh, not letting this pain, not sitting in this pain is what I got. You are not sitting in this pain. You are not wallowing in this pain. You are very focused on your future and you're letting go of this painful energy here with the three of swords as well. For some of you, this person literally, uh, they did have other options or they were not making any decision when it came to this connection. They were, they were running away from making a particular decision. And again, because this person didn't have that long term view, they were very unsure about what they are looking for or what they want in future. 
But the Four of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, is a, a it's a good energy here because the Four of Wands is long term use, the eleven eleven card. It's also about happiness, stability, commitment, marriage. And the Seven of Pentacles again talks about working hard towards having that commitment. This combination here is working hard towards having stability, long term commitment. This person is also, uh, uh, bottom of this deck, I just uh, remembered, bottom of this deck is memories here. And remembering the past may bring answers. And that's the kind of energy I'm getting from the Four of Swords and Page of Wands in Reverse. This is someone who's, they're not running away from what they have done. They are not running away from who they were. They're not running away from that. They are acknowledging their part here. They might not even, uh, they might not, you might not be feeling like they would or it's not like this person is coming to you and telling you right now that they have, they know what they have done wrong. But this is someone who's deep down, they are slowly uh, starting to acknowledge their part in whatever has happened here. There's a growing up energy as well. Page of Wands in Reverse is someone who's ready to grow up. Because with the Four of Swords, they have realized it's, it's high time they do. Four of Swords is also can um, be an intuitive, if I look at that, that's your energy at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with another Capricorn here, but um, yeah, this is your energy. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, this person's intuition could be popping right now as well here. Like if you are listening to, and this could be a mutual energy as well, like you listen to some songs and it suddenly reminds you of that person or you see someone uh, around the corner that looks exactly like this person. You know, like what I'm getting here is this person, like literally they mistakes, they mistook someone uh, for you or they mistake people for you, that kind of an energy here. You both are very connected to each other, especially this person just keeps seeing you in people. That's the dominant energy I'm getting. This person keeps seeing you in people here. Also songs, numbers, synchronicities could be important to you or this person because we start the reading with two, four, four and also bottom of the deck was four of uh, cups as well. So a lot of twos here. Twos talk about harmony, balance. Also two and four of wands. We have the two of wands in the mix. For some of you, this is literally someone who is planning an apology here. They're planning an offer. They're planning an apology. They're, uh, it's like a finishing or completing a cycle so that a new cycle can begin here. Letting go of the past energy. Letting the past be in the past. And starting fresh. That's the kind of energy here with the world. Uh, well, finally, we do have a major arcana here with the world. Although this is at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. For some of you, what I'm also getting here, this is again random, so it might not be uh, for every one of you, but for some of you, the as you plan for the future, as you look towards the future, as you move forward, uh, you might you might end up attracting a new person here. Also, also especially if you're again random messages. So if you are traveling. You might meet someone if you have decided to go somewhere, travel somewhere. If you're moving, it could be moving houses, moving to a new place, moving cities, whatever it might be. You might meet someone new there or it will uh, or if not meet someone new, it will trigger that um, very creative side of you. The creative side of you will be triggered here. So if you're thinking of traveling, um, it's, it's actually a good idea here. That, that's what the cards are telling me.
follow your heart. Just get to how this person is feeling as well here. As I said, this is someone who's very intuitively connected to you. So this person might be feeling that energy of, it's like their heart is desiring you. Their heart wants to come towards you. Their heart wants to move towards you. For some of you, this person uh, could be thinking of actually coming towards you, traveling towards you. Again, letting the past be in the past. Also, uh, uh, I, my eyes went towards this card, Memories, and I got the word Bittersweet Memories. Yeah, I did say, right, this person is reflecting, self-reflecting -reflect, with the Four of Swords here, contemplating, reflecting. Yeah, this is someone who's taking time out for themselves and trying to figure things out here. They, this is not someone who is running away from taking responsibility here altogether. This is not someone who's running away from that. They're trying to make sense of it. To this person, it, a lot of things might not be, might not have made sense about this connection in the past. Or again, if this person is seeing synchronicities and everything, then uh, it, this person might have felt very confused about this connection, about you. So they're trying to make sense of things here. Yes, for some of you, you are attracting new people here. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, you are literally... It's so difficult to hold this card. So it's I almost dropped that. Yeah, you have new people coming in. Especially if you are actually manifesting... Uh, if you're done with this, because we did have the world at the bottom of the deck, right? So for some of you, you are really done with this connection. You have closed that, uh, closed that chapter. You might not have completely overcome the pain or the suffering because three of swords is still here. So you might not have completely overcome that pain or heartbreak or loss here, but you are slowly coming out of that and you have new people, like you are attracting new people here. So it's, it's simply that the more you heal, the more you become attractive. They are obsessed with you. That is again your cards. So you could be dealing with another Capricorn, but more than that, this is someone who's obsessed with you. They are very attached to you. Could have been a very codependent connection as well here. One-sided is what I got. So could have been codependent, one-sided connection here. And this is the thing here: Four of Swords and the Devil. This is someone who is reflecting. Look at that, Seven of Swords. The Devil and the Seven of Swords, there was a lot of manipulation this person did. Might be lies as well here. It's very possible you felt like this person was trying to get away with something or they, they always try to lie and get away with things. You might not, have, might not see this person in the best of light and that is why for some of you, you are letting go of this connection of this person here.
Queen of Cups, the star, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Bottom of the deck is Tower, Five of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Could be dealing with, I think I've already mentioned all the signs. All of these signs have come up before. But yeah. This connection could have taken an emotional toll on you. Like it was a very emotionally draining connection you were dealing with. Like this connection felt very emotionally draining. Uh, here's the thing. What, however this person treated you, they are pretty disappointed here. With the five of cups. They feel defeated. They feel defeated. They feel disappointed here. This person again, devil and the tower here. The reason this connection did not work, work out. The reason this connection fell apart is because simply this person was... This was a codependent connection. This was not healthy. Queen of Cups and the Devil, you were emotionally attached to this person in an unhealthy manner. So, again, that's, that's not the... Hence, the tower was necessary. This deck is Ace of Swords here, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. And that Three of Swords again. You were really hoping this person will actually, you were waiting for this Ace of Pentacles offer. Ace of Pentacles is a cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone you hope that you are going to have that Ten of Pentacles with. You are settled, you are going to settle down, you are going to get married to this person. There's long term commitment here. That's what you were hoping from this person or this connection. That is why you could have really latched onto this person or, or to this connection for the longest time and you found it very difficult to let go of this. Even, even though you might have been aware that this was not re really healthy, but you were still very attached to it. Also, the Queen of Cups is a very empathic person. A lot of empathy, compassion, deep feelings. Uh, but here's the thing, the Queen of Cups is easily taken advantage of. You definitely had a very healing effect on this person or this connection with the Queen of Cups and the Star here. You did uh, like this was this is a divine sort of a connection, and this person does feel a divine connection with you. They might not name it that way. Neither might you think of it any uh, anymore in that light. You might not see this connection in that light anymore. But this person definitely feels a very strong connection with you, like so, some sort of fated connection. Especially we have the Star and the Wheel of Fortune here. Wheel of Fortune and the Star that is fated, destined meant to happen kind of a connection here. This person does feel that. But at the same time, they are disappointed about what has already happened with the Queen of Cups and the Five of Cups. This person wasn't... It's like this... This well, the tower is unexpected. So this person didn't expect the tower to happen. They didn't expect this to crumble down here or fall apart. Look at that. The devil again. And the four of cups. You could be dealing with like strong Capricorn energy here. This very well could have been someone like you fell for their words sort of a thing. You fell for their words. You fell for... This person could have, again, it might not be for every one of you. But this person could have love bombed you for some of you. With the devil and the knight of cups. 
you know, this is like someone, knight, the devil, knight of cups and four of cups here. This is literally someone who could have been hot and cold. One moment this person would be all like uh, up your business. I don't know why I got that. That's, that's so random. But this person was all like they were they were giving to you. They wanted to be with you. They wanted to invest in this. But as soon as you were investing in this connection, this person could have switched up their energy or they could have started ignoring you. You know, so they gave to you, they gave to you this connection, they gave you attention as long as it served them, as long as it was like you were not giving them attention. So initially you might not have given this person any attention and that is when this person wanted your attention badly. So they did whatever they could have to get your attention. But as soon as they had your attention, they started ignoring you. So love bombing, hot and cold kind of an energy here. This person could have been very romantic with you as well. Some romantic promises were made or this person did, you know, they said what was necessary. They did what was necessary. Could have been that energy here. This was someone who's a, who was obsessed with you. This is someone still obsessed with you. That obsessed energy is still there. And here's the thing. With the devil repeating twice, this person is trying to disconnect from... Um, they are trying to disconnect from this unhealthy energy. They're reflecting upon what they have done here. But you see the devil is still here. The devil is not in reverse. So there's some unhealthy energy still there in this person's. Like their energy is still a bit unhealthy. They still need to figure some so things out. They still need to sort some things out here. But if you're giving this person, this is again, I got to this random. If you're giving this person the silent treatment, like this person deserves that. That's the kind of energy I'm getting. This They deserve that. And this was necessary, 22, 22. This was necessary here. Not to mention the Queen of Cups, the star here. This person literally might see you as some sort of like, they were very attracted to you. They were very drawn to you. That uh, they saw you as some sort of like this divine creature. Like, well, creature sounds weird, but... Divine being, divine person, like you had this very um, healing effect, very soothing effect. You were very connected to the universe. You were very connected to your higher self. So they, you had a very magical kind of uh, vibe or energy. And this person was very, very drawn to that. They were very, very attracted to that. Hence, they might have been so obsessed with having you, being with you. But it's like this person never expected it to get serious or they never expected. They thought that this was like a temporary attraction they feel towards you. So as soon as they have you, as soon as they can possess you, that attraction will be gone. But that did not happen here. Also, it's very possible you could have been the one who offered your cup to this person. You were the one who had, who caught feelings first. Okay. Strength here, you could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, this, this is a very strong connection. The devil and the uh, strength here. As I said, strong connection. Bottom of the deck is lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini. So even if it, this connection wasn't the healthiest one uh, of one, this was still like, again, fated connection here. It's supposed to happen, meant to happen. That's the kind of energy. But this person ignoring your offer, this is literally, you could have offered your cup to this person and this person just ignored it, which really, really broke your heart. Hence the three of swords here. 
But here's the thing, no matter, again, no matter how unhealthy you felt this connection was, how toxic you felt the connection was, you still felt a strong energy here, a strong bond with this person. It's like, it was very, like one of those connections where it was very difficult to detach from this person, very difficult to accept the truth about this connection and just let it go. You could have really, really struggled to let go of this person or this connection. And this is mutual energy. This person has not let go, go of you as well here. Again, strong Leo energy. This person, uh, what I got with that uh, uh, sun card here is this person is right now seeing you as vibing very high. Like your vibration, you have leveled up. Your vibration has changed. You have leveled up in one way or other. That is how this person perceives you, you right now. That is how they see you. Not to mention they see you as someone who is moving. Moving. Sorry, you are moving towards positive things here. You are moving towards a positive future, a brighter future. Not to mention with the sun here, they definitely feel like you have seen the truth, realized the truth of this, uh, like about them as well here. And that is why you want to let go of this connection because you think that's for the, like, that way, it's better for the both of you just to let go of this. Yeah, temperance, you're healing. This person definitely sees you as some sort of magical, like you have some connection with the universe. You have a very strong connection with the universe, your higher self. You could be a healer, healer for some of you because we literally have the queen of cups, the star, and the temperance here. So for some of you, you could be healers. So, yeah, see, you are unstucking. Eight of swords in reverse. You are unstucking yourself. You are not allowing, what I heard is you're not allowing yourself to be stuck on this person. You're not indulging in this person. You're not allowing yourself to be stuck on this person. Not to mention this, this was a, definitely the kind of connection that triggered some wounds in you, that some wounds that needed to be healed. And right now that's where your focus is at, healing those wounds. And I, I did say, right, did say at the very beginning of the reading, right, the more you heal, the more you attractive you become. And it's not just a potential partner's feeling or uh, uh, like, you know, multiple people feeling this. It's this person feeling that energy about you as well. But well, if, even if you are uh, like, even if you are in no contact, this person feels that. Even if they're not talking to you, they feel that energy here. They feel your shift in energy. And that was triggering this person to shift their energy as well here. Now, I'm not saying that this person is uh, uh, at the same level as you are. No, they are not. Now, you certainly could have had some, you know, like you, you could have talked to yourself negatively or you had some self-limited beliefs. You're working on all of that here. You're accepting yourself as you are, how you are, not running away. I don't know why I got not running away. Six of Wands. Yeah, whatever you're working on, it's, it's like, again, that energy of it will make you very, very attractive. It is making you very, very attractive or whatever you're working on. If you are very focused on your money right now, if you're focused on manifesting new stuff, it will bring you a lot of success. And recognition. This is definitely recognition and victory. Oh, look at that. The two of cups came out randomly. Yeah, uh, see, the two of cups is mutual energy. This is not one-sided love. You might be, as I said, you are not letting yourself be stuck on this person or this connection. 
but it's literally that energy like you still have that feelings have those deep feelings for this person and this is not even one sided the two of cups is this person knows that you still have feelings for them you still have emotions for them you might not be acknowledging that you might, i don't know i get i got this energy that this person thinks that you are so angry on them or you're so done with them that no matter how much you love them you care for them you might not ever acknowledge that again Yeah, look at that death transformation. I hope you can see that transformation. Yeah, working on yourself. Death and eight of pentacles. This is literally you working on yourself. And again, whatever you're working on, if that is you investing in yourself, your uh, your job, your business, whatever you are doing, it is going to bring in a success here with the eight of pentacles. And you are Capricorn, of course. You are hard at work. This person, they definitely see you as a soulmate. They see you as a soulmate. And you do make this person very, very happy. And it's not just you made this person, sorry. Yeah, you made this person very happy. This person did make you happy as well here. But there are some things, the devil energy, Needs, needs to be fixed. The page of wands need, energy needs to be fixed here. And the four of swords again. A lot of fours in this. We already have the four of swords, four of wands, four of pentacles. We also have the four of cups here. So we have all the elements when it comes to the four energy. Yeah, four of cups, four of wands, four of swords, four of pentacles. Four of swords is repeated twice. Here. A lot of fours. Could be in, like you could be seeing a lot of four, 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 or um, your person could be seeing that number. Somehow it's important. Look at that four of swords, judgment. Again, strong Scorpio energy. Judgment talks about second chances, reunion. What I'm getting here is this person is holding on to the hope that this can be still, like if they work on themselves or if you both, like if you both can meet in the middle, this can be fixed. They're still holding on to that hope here. For some of the judgment actually talks about awakening as well here. Awakening, realizations, epiphanies. That's what the judgment talks about. For some of you, this person is going through an awakening here. We have the tower and the judgment here. So yeah, root awakening or just seeing things clearly here. This person knows that they have to work on themselves. For some of you, this person could have had that my way or the highway kind of attitude, very stubborn attitude. And that is why this person could have just ignored you because you, you were not following their plan. They had some plan and you were not going with it. You had your own mind. You wanted what you wanted and you were not ready to settle for anything else. And, and that is what what could have like triggered this person's ego or that stubbornness. But yeah, this is someone who's hoping that, as I just said, this is someone who's hoping. Look at that star here. You already have the star once. Yeah, the star is repeated twice. Yeah, that this person is, hasn't given up on hope.
Eight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is Page of Pentacles. This is someone who actually wants to work on this connection. They don't want to give up. They just don't want to give up. The sun again at the bottom of the deck. Long term view. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. For some of you, you could be dealing with another Earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this is someone who's seeing the long term view. These are all these three are very positive cards and very stable cards. It's just not positive. This is the King of Pentacles sees a long term view. He can see the future and that's what he's building for. The King of Pentacles isn't about some short term fling or instant gratification that's not what the king of pentacles is looking for this person knows they they have a lot of hard work to do and they have to keep persevering keep working hard only then this can work out between the both of you here not to mention there's a level up of energy happening look at that from the page of pentacles to the king of pentacles there's a leveling up that's happening here with the five of wands this is what i'm getting it's almost like this person knows that this is going to be a long fight I don't know why I got that, but that's the exact, exact term I got. This is going to be a long fight. This very well could be your energy here with the Nine of Pentacles as well. Yeah, a lot of the Nine of Pentacles never runs out of options. So the more you focus on yourself, the more you um, work on yourself and heal, the more attractive you will become. Not to mention, this is the minor to the Empress here. Right. Let's pull from this deck. Bottom of the deck is intuition, heart song, telepathy, inner knowing. Yeah. For some of you, you are leaving this person behind and this person can't feel it. Yeah, mixed signals. That's what this person, hot and cold mixed signals, broken, shattered. You could be in pain, this could be this person's energy, or this could be your energy, heartbroken, because we did do have the three of swords repeated twice here. So, yes, um, this person could have just lied to you, uh, hidden things from you, hidden truth from you. As I did mention, right, this person tried getting away with something here. I feel so at peace when I'm around your energy. You are such a magical creature. I couldn't sleep last night. Uh, I was going through all our conversations and pictures together. Yeah, see, why are we never on the same page? Maybe we were never meant to be together. Maybe all of this is just in my head because you are too good to be true. Also, we have I want to tell you I love you. I can't believe you blocked me. So yeah, I could have blocked you, uh, this person. I want to hug you and feel your warmth again. Can we have some time alone? The best... Uh, wow, the distance between me is really getting to me. What do I do? I know you judge me like everyone else does. Well, also bottom of the deck, we have the acceptance here. What is meant for you, you will not miss. Clear and honest communication is needed here. If this person actually wants to work on this, they will have to communicate. And this person is, they are willing to put in that effort. They are actually looking at things from a different perspective right now. Well, that's your reading, Capricorn. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.